Bye. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, look at that beard. Look at that beard. Y'all ain't really fat. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna be talking about I uh jugulus is how I'm gonna pronounce it until I hear something different. Um, it's basically paradox hydragon. Um, obviously these are supposed to be like set. They're not like evolutions. They're different species from the future. Should have clarified that in the previous two videos, but hey, better late than never. Um, don't worry about the charge on the screen. That'll make sense later. So. As we have done with the previous two uh, how to use videos with these type of Pokemon, we're gonna compare them to the original. So first things first, we're gonna look at these stats here. Notice you can't, you guys can't actually see. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, never mind. So you can't actually see my arrow, but you usually can. Um, so base to base HP, the uh, Iron Jugulus is a little bit higher. Not really much of a difference there. It lost a lot of physical attack, but you're not really gonna use it as a physical attack anyway. Um, the defenses are a bit lower, 86 defense, which was originally 90, and then 80 special defense, which was also originally 90, which is not great. The special attack is a little bit weaker, but it's not um, significant, so that's fine. But the speed is much higher. It was a base 98, and now it's a base 108. Speed, and also sometimes typing, is what helps Hydreigon back a little bit. Like, it has great offensive typing, but defensively, it gets hit by a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like Iron Julius kind of mitigates that to a degree because it's dark and flying instead of dark and dragon. Um, with uh, the original typing, you were four times weak to fairy, which is not good. Um, you're weak to ice, you're weak to dragon, you're weak to fighting. Uh, so it's really not, not great weaknesses to have. With this, you're weak to fight. You're actually, no, you're neutral against fighting. Um, you are still weak to, to ice, which is, you know, you're still weak to fairy, but not by as much. I think you're weak to rock as well, but you can deal with rock types. So... The first set is going to be probably a very offensive set. Um, not something that I probably would recommend necessarily, but if you want to get, like, the most output um, without being too risky, like, you could replace Heat Wave with Fire Blast if you want more damage, but I just think Heat Wave is a bit safer. Um, you're going to go with Dark Pulse. Uh, and the Terra type is going to be Dark. The reason this is a Dark Pulse instead of Terra Blast Dark is because they're the same base power, 80. Um, and Dark Pulse can make the opponent flinch where Terra Blast cannot, so I think it's better to just use Dark Pulse for the Dark Terra type. Um, Hurricane is its best, well, highest base power flying stab. I want to say best flying stab. It is the highest base power. Um, Hurricane does have trouble in the sun, um, especially if you're facing off against other teams that are going to be running sun, which I do expect to see. But um, in that event, you will have Heat Wave, which will give you a lot of damage in the opponent's sun. Um, it'll give you a lot of damage with booster energy. Um, and it'll let you hit steel types, which a Pokemon like this would normally struggle with. Uh, you can hit steel types with this set. Um, you're going to probably just go max speed, max special attack. Get, a, get as much offense out as possible. I do think this might be its biggest offensive set. There are options you can replace Heat Wave with for more offense. Like uh, there's Hydro Pump. There is uh, Fire Blast or Flamethrower. But I think Heat Wave is just better than those moves. And uh, Heat Wave can like cause a burn, I believe. So like, I just think it's the it's the it's the best option for a really offensive set. <clears throat> the next set is something that's be actually a lot more reliable, more comfortable for someone like me, and I think for a lot of players out there. Um, so the Terra type for this is going to be Flying. Then you can get Terra Blast Flying, which is going to be its best Flying stab. Uh, you'll get a lot of damage with this. You'll get the increased stab boost that you get because you are already a base Flying type. So. And if it's a base 80 attack to 120 for stab and then another 1.5 for the 120 it makes it 180 180 base power flying type move that's like that's basically stronger than max airstream so <laughs> you're getting an incredibly strong terror uh, terror flying stab and terror blast um and again dark pulse was better than terror blast darkness anyway so you get the 80 base power the same way you get the stab um the only thing you don't get is because you're not the dark the dark type terra um, type, you don't get that increased dark type stab. So this version would have a stronger dark pulse, dark pulse than this version. But it's still a good dark pulse, and it can still flinch. Um, because you are treating this more as a flying type in this nature. Um, Earth Power is here to help you hit those electric types, just for some electric coverage. Um, again, you could replace Earth Power with other moves if you prefer, but I think Earth Power is something that is reliable and hits something. Um that you're going to be opposed with most directly. People are going to see your flying type and, you know, bring their electric, uh, yeah, their electric type out to deal with it. So Earth Power gives you a good way to hit that. Um, and electric types are fast, so I also still would recommend max speed on this. Now, the next set is something that's a bit more um, 
supportive, but you still have some offense. Um, so Dark Pulse, again, because, again, it's just the stab that you have. Um, you're probably not going to Terra type this because it is going to be more of a supportive-ish set. But if you do have to Terra type it, um, I would consider maybe just abandoning your 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 uh, your weaknesses completely. Instead of trying to boost one of these stabs, I'd go for something more defensive like normal or steel. Um, let's just change that to like steel or something, not just for the images. You can change it to steel to gain a lot of resistances. Um, and I'll explain why that's a thing you can do in a minute. You get Tailwind and Taunt, um, which are good support moves. And you want to be able to reset that Tailwind after it's done. Um, after the three turns, like it's a, it's the first turn counts. It's four turns total. First turn does count. So as soon as that turn is over, you're down to three, which is why I kind of say three turns. Um, you have Taunt to, you know, potentially stop other Tailwinders or stop Trick Room users, Spore users. And you can flinch with air slats, which is why um, I have it on the set. You can flinch with both your stabs, which is like, so if you get tailwind up and then you can start like getting flinches, um, then you, you can really shut a, an opponent's team down because you're going first and you're stopping them from moving potentially. I may even think about putting like something like King Drop to increase your flinch chance. <laughs> so with this set, um, so this is where the Charizard comes into play. So if you look here, Charizard is a base 100 Pokemon. I guess the 167 at max speed Timid. Um, so if you want to just outspeed base 100s, you can go 196, um, timid, get to 168, and then put a little bit in your special attack just for a little bit extra damage on these type, that yeah, these two type moves. And then you can go max HP citrus berry. So you're actually going to be able to survive some hits because you have a lot of, uh, HP investment. You have some recovery. Um, if you must terror type your, uh, your Pokemon that you're not really going all out offense with. I would recommend steel, or like I said, normal. Your normal is only weak to fighting, and you're already weak to fighting, so you're actually just dropping weaknesses and not gaining any at all. You're losing a bunch of them, and you're just keeping one of the weaknesses you already had. And then, like I said, you have the max HP stat, so you can set your tailwind, potentially live a few turns, and then set it up again before you go down. Um, you could change the spread to your preference. Like I said, depending on how the meta plays out, We'll see if base 100 is the number to go for. Um, if it is, then this is plenty of speed. This is a decent amount of special attack, especially if you're getting like extra hits in because of your bulk, you're getting extra extra damage output. And if you're getting flinches. So this will be really annoying to the play against because it'll be decently hard to kill. And potentially you may not even get to attack it because it's flinching you with air slash and dark bolts. Um, and it's going first because it's already faster than you with its base speed. And then Tailwind is going to make you outspeed stuff even further. <clears throat> so I don't have a meme set like I've had in the other two. Um, so why don't we actually put one together? Oops, I can't type or speak today. I just got a um, transportation to catch. I'm pre-recording this before I'm releasing it. I'm trying to get some videos put together before I... Uh, go down state <laughs> so it's physical attack is kind of buckus but who cares we're gonna see what kind of physical type moves it gets um acrobatics is so you know what right power doubles is usually has no held item so let's say booster energy is a consumable <laughs> Right, and your quark drive activates. So let me see how, how much attack do we need. So um, so we're at two twenty eight actually. So this is another one of those things, right? Or just like the um, <laughs> just like the uh, actually no, let me do this first before I even go negative on that. So it goes to negative special attack. Let's go adamant. Okay, so you're two fifty two actually. So we're gonna have to drop it, and then like, oh no, even that's too much. Uh, how much is a hundred speed? So you get 249. <laughs> you got to go negative speed. And then you can add some speed to it to still hit 249. I actually want to drop this to 50 to see what speed tier that hits. 126. So you're losing a lot of speed. <laughs> so you have 156. You could um, put the rest of that in HP. Oh, I just got a plus. Um, you very well could just abandon the speed altogether <laughs> if you need to but like because if you get acrobatics right and you it i'm, I'm not sure boost energy is a consumable but if it is because i haven't tested that out yet then your acrobatics becomes a base 110 <laughs> flying type physical stab 
And what kind of dark stab does it get? Uh, let me see. Dark physics. It gets knockoff, which is a good support move. It gets assurance, though. So assurance is nice because power, again, it doubles. So if you're actually going slower than your opponent, you get double speed with the assurance. Um, I do want to see what other physical type moves it gets because this might determine what kind of terror type I want it to be. Doing this in real time with you guys behind the scenes. Um, so it does get Iron Head. Iron Head is nice. It gets Outrage, but that's not good for like anything in my opinion. <laughs> Fly is not great. Um, so yeah, I'd probably, I would probably, uh, just go with like your flying terror type stuff here to be perfectly honest. Um, <laughs> go with like knockoff protect. I don't know. This is just like, so like, I guess you can use knockoff if you're going first and then assurance if you're not going like first with your partner Pokemon. But yeah, so like this obviously is just a nonsense sense. Like I just like to put these together at the end of the actual real stuff just for like fun. Um, not something I'd probably ever use unless I'm trying to make a fun video where I could see if it could work. Cause like this is just nonsense, right? Neg negative speed nature, but adding speed EVs is actually psychopathic. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, click that like for your boy. Um, if you've been leaving suggestions on the other videos, um, these have been pre-recorded because I'm gonna be away for a couple days. So <laughs> I have um I have been pre-recording them. So if you've made suggestions and I haven't done them, it's because these videos were recorded before I saw any suggestions. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like for your boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.